Howdy everybody, good morning. Um, in this lecture, I wanna walk you through how to set up a billing model for clients that includes a bonus based on return of ad spend. And it's a very, very important thing to be able to do because it'll help you make more money and it'll help you keep your clients happy. And it really aligns your goals and the client's goals. So what do, I, what do I mean by a billing model? Well, let's just take a step back and talk about billing in general. So in our industry, like digital advertising services and, and consulting services, and usually related to some sort of ad spend, and this I think applies to even if you're just doing landing page design, because you could, you could parlay this type of billing model into a bonus based on conversion rate increase, and I'll cover that type of structure in a different video. But for a lot of you who are charging your clients for, whether it be Facebook advertising campaigns, Google Ads advertising campaigns, um, LinkedIn campaigns, whatever it may be, or SEO, it's typically, you're, what you're charging your client is typically in some way um, founded on how much they're spending. It's based on how much they're spending in some sort of way. Okay, and that's not a bad model, necessarily. Like, so if you're charging, if your clients are spending $10,000 a month on advertising and, and you're, you're charging a 10% fee, you'll be charging them $1,000 a month and you'll invoice them at the end of the month. Um, in our, at our company, at Adventure Media, we have a minimum uh, monthly, monthly management fee of $3,500. And it's not where we started. We're, we're many years, not many years, we're four or five years into this. And our, our, we were, we have clients that used to be, that were paying us $89 a month and then $199 a month. And then there was a time still, this is before I even hired my first employee, that if I signed a client for $499 a month, it was like huge. Like my wife and I went out to dinner. It was, it was amazing. As we've grown and as we've brought on better clients and higher value clients, we've we've raised that increased management fee because um, just based on the workload we have and and, and the expenses we have and, and a full, t you know, a, a very large payroll, we need to charge our clients more. But whatever, what I'm gonna show you really applies in any case um, with any client, no matter what they're spending. So, so let's call this ROAS bonus billing model template. And when I build these things out, I like to really not, I like to think about my clients while I'm building this out because I'm like, I, I sort of think, okay, I'm going to show this to a client. I'm going to present this to a client. I want them to be able to understand it and I want them to really be able to like um, see how it's useful and how it all makes sense because not every client is statistically inclined, et cetera. So we're going to start off with your target ROAS. So let's say um, a client's target ROAS is uh, they're five times, right? So that's a 500%. That's their target ROAS. Um, and then you're gonna do a commission. So you're gonna set up your commission on ROAS above target. And let's say that's, you're gonna, you know, I would start off quoting them at 50%. Like you wanna take, okay, we're gonna share it 50, 50, everything above. And they might come back and say that like, it's a little bit high and okay, you go down to 40, 30. But like, I, I'll typically start at 50% because I think it's a fair number. And, and I think like the last few clients that we build this way, we're like, okay, sure, 50%, no problem. And then you have your base percentage of spend, right? Like what are you charging the client in the base percentage of spend? And let's say you'll typically do that um, at 10%, but over here you're gonna do a discounted rate at 7%, let's say, okay? So you put that all here. Um, these are gonna be my constants. Um, and then we'll format this and make it look a little prettier later. So now we're gonna build out like an actual scenario. And this is like, this is not overly complicated stuff. Like this is stuff that you could redo and you could understand and, and um, I'll explain it to you, everything we're doing. So here's a scenario. So your scenario is total spend. And obviously this is monthly because most of us will be billing our clients monthly. You might be billing your clients quarterly. Um, we, we do the digital advertising for Forbes magazine and we bill them quarterly. Um, that's how they set their system up. But I would say in most cases it's it's monthly. So let's just put in a random um, a random number of total spend. So And this is all gonna be editable. So let's say we do $100,000, okay? And we make that um, money. So that's total spend for the month in the account. And we have to give in revenue because if you're going to be giving a scenario about how we're earning money, you got to give some revenue here. So let's say you do a hundred thousand and they do nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars in revenue. Now I know, like, you, you, I'm not sure where where you're holding in your business or if this is you're doing this for clients. Trust me, I've I've done this for like I've worked with very very small clients for the first two years of my entire career. Um, so I know these numbers are big numbers. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about that in a second as well. Now, let's say their actual ROAS, and I'm saying actual ROAS is because their actual ROAS means without without assessing your fees yet. Okay, just just their actual ROAS from from the ad campaigns itself. 
So it's really easy to get ROAS, you take your total conversion value, which is revenue divided by your total spend. So that equals E3 over here divided by E2, and that gives me my actual ROAS. Um, and you can turn that into a percentage as well by just clicking percent and getting rid of a couple decimals. And let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Case, all right, that should be a little bit better. Uh, bigger for me too. Okay, so now we're gonna say, okay, based on what we have here, what's my base fee? All right, so my base fee is gonna be equals our total spend multiplied by my discounted rate, which is over here. So that's uh, B4, and that's $7,000, which means I'm getting paid seven grand. Um, now we need to say, okay, what's your, what's your commission bonus gonna be? Um, well, we could actually we could actually calculate return on ad spend again. Um, well, first I'll first I'll we'll put the commission bonus in. So the first thing we're going to do to get the commission bonus is we're going to take the total revenue. So equals we're going to do a double open parentheses. We're going to take the total revenue and we're going to divide it by their target ROAS, and that's going to give us what they were willing to spend to generate this 950 grand, okay? So you have to understand this element because this is how you're gonna explain it to your client. So in this case, where we did, we did an actual ROAS of 950%, right? we exceeded their target in this scenario. This number right here, when you just take their total revenue divided by their target ROAS, that's telling the client to generate $950,000 of revenue, you'd have been willing to spend 190,000. So now we need to find the difference between what you actually spent and what you were willing to spend. So we're gonna subtract it by the total spend. So we're now we're gonna subtract that number by what you actually spent, okay? That gives us $90,000, right? So $90,000 is what you saved them, right? They were willing, they spent 100 grand to generate 950 grand. They were willing to spend 190 grand. And now our formula is showing $90,000 left over. And now you don't get $90,000, you have a commission on that $90,000. So we're gonna go ahead and close this parentheses and then multiply it by your commission above target ROAS. Hit enter, there was a problem, what did I do here? Um, oh yeah, this is a mistake. This one shouldn't be here, we're gonna, okay. And that's your, um, in this model, like this is obviously unlikely to happen, or I mean, we, we've gotten some big commissions. Once, once you get into the higher levels of spend, these commissions could happen if you're doing a good job. So um, let's go to total compensation. So total comp, um, what you're giving, what you're getting, the what, what, what the client's giving you is your base fee, in this scenario, plus your commission bonus. Okay, so you get it, you're making $52,000. Total expenses to the client is your commission plus their advertising, right? So it's equal your total compensation plus their total spend. It's their it's total compensation plus total spend, $152,000, and net, ROAS, including your spend, is gonna to be total expenses, right? So it's gonna equal total expenses divided by your revenue. And we could turn that into, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's total revenue, um, total revenue, that's, that's the formula, divided by your total expenses. And we're going to turn that into a percent. And now it's 625%. Now you have to realize no matter what happens, the, the compensation is not gonna drive them above their ROAS target, or it's not gonna drive them below their ROAS target of 500 because we set up this, this interesting bonus model where you're only getting a piece of what you save them, okay? That's the really cool part about this. You're only getting a piece of what you save them. So I sent out the client um, a very long, very detailed, if you're seeing it here, um, PDF, attachment to a proposal. And I'm going to, in another video, I'll go through like how, I, how we build proposals here at the company, um, but how to get the profitability. Um, and then we got to compensation. So I spoke about this entire billing model. I put in scenarios. I said, right, the client's goal, the ROAS goal is 10X. This is actually a out, slightly outdated version of it because it, it changed to 16X once we got the CEO involved. Um, we proposed a discount rate of 6%. So once we changed, once we went up to 16 times ROS, we said, okay, we're gonna charge you 7.5%. So we negotiated and it was fine. Um, so if we spend 50K and generate 500K in revenue, we earn no performance bonus because the ROS did not exceed 10X. And I gave them this exact example. Um, and I shows the commission bonus showing zero. And, I, and this was the exact spreadsheet that I had built for you guys. Um, so in this scenario, we'd only bill our base fee of 6%, $3,000, et cetera. Um, now, for example, if we, but, I, but then I, I, I 
it's so important to talk these things out in English to your clients. It, it makes you look so much more sophisticated and it makes the relationship get off to a much, much better start. And it's a real skill. It's not easy to like to put together a billing model and then talk it out in English. So for example, if we spend the same 50K and generated 600K in revenue, that would be a 12X return. In essence, what we're saying is that Kitchen Restock would have been happy to spend up to 60K, just like I told you to get the revenue they got. So our performance netted the client an additional $10,000 of savings, what they would have spent minus the 50K, what they actually spent. So we proposed a 30% commission on savings. And I, and I gave them an example of what that would look at in the spreadsheet. And I gave them the math behind it. Um, and I gave them a couple other scenarios. And I said, we're 100% confident. Like it was like a seriously well thought out thing. So like, don't just go and make, take the spreadsheet and, and, and share the spreadsheet with the client. Take the time to write it out. This deal with, with Kitchen Restock is worth a few hundred thousand dollars a year to us. And now you might you might be thinking, well, okay, it's nice that you put together a long 15-page PDF, and there was like five other attachments to that email um, for a client that's worth a few hundred thousand dollars a year. But I was doing this before I had a single employee when I was sitting by my desk in my apartment alone, working around the clock. I was I was writing 30, 40 page proposals, sophisticated with every ounce of energy and effort that I had for a client that was going to pay me $299 a month. I took it unbelievably seriously. And it was that work ethic and it was that level of commitment and excitement and willingness to go above and beyond and willingness to do everything I can for a client that was paying me 200 bucks a month or 300 bucks a month or $89 a month that allowed me to be in a place that I'm like, okay, I could I could now build a sophisticated proposal and, and present ourselves um, as like a really compelling agency that could take a million dollar a year a client. So even if you're dealing with very, very small clients, I strongly suggest, and this is not meant to be a motivational lecture, but but I strongly suggest you, you realize how important that investment in your own skill set and your own ability to communicate and your own work ethic is if you want to start generating higher value clients. Um, so that's that. I hear, if you start building your clients with a bonus, I want to hear how it goes. I want to hear the proposals you guys send out. I want to see how you guys modify this model if you do. Um, I hope it's very, very useful to you because it's been very useful to us. Just implementing this bonus system over the last six months, um, we've built over four hundred thousand dollars worth of bonuses in the last in the last few months within a, you know four or five with four or five clients that we're doing bonuses with. Uh, so, and, and that's money that we would not have gotten. We would have gotten maybe a little bit higher on the base, but not nearly as much revenue would have come into the company, which would which now allows us to hire more people, to invest more in software, whatever it is. Like, So it's a little bit uncomfortable to have this type of conversation with a client because like you're going a little bit above and outside the scope of what your, your comfort zone is, but that's where like your greatness will happen. It's right in that proximal range of development, like right outside the stage, right outside the border of like, comfort but below the border of being like like a paralyzing fear so like this is like okay like i have a good understanding of the bonus i could i could pitch it to you why it's good for you and it's good for us and it aligns our goals and that's an important part of the pitch i have it built out and it makes sense i could explain it to you in english and i'm gonna make more money and you're gonna make more money um so please let me know how you guys use this i hope it's valuable so i will see you guys in the next lecture